By now, you surely know that a diet rich in vegetables and fruits is essential for sustained health and long-term blood sugar balance. And red fruits specifically offer a spectrum of health benefits. We've already shown you four of the worst red fruits for diabetics. So now we're sure you're aching to know which red fruits can be great for your glucose control. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and stay tuned for three powerful diabetes fighting free gifts. Now, are you ready to discover the five best red fruits for decreasing obesity and insulin resistance? Here comes the five best red fruits for diabetics. Number five, watermelon. Watermelon has a glycemic index value of around 80. That's higher than a waffle. But the glycemic load of a watermelon is actually just five, which is extremely low. What's the difference? The glycemic index is a marker of how quickly a food will be digested. The glycemic load also takes into account how many carbohydrates are within that food, which means that many doctors believe that the glycemic load gives a more complete picture about how that food can affect blood sugar levels. In other words, while the natural sugars in a slice of watermelon are quickly absorbed in the body, watermelon does not actually contain a huge dose of carbohydrates. That's why eating a modest portion of watermelon, while seemingly a very sweet natural treat, should not significantly impact your glucose levels. What watermelon does give you, however, is high quantities of polyphenols and other antioxidants, like beta-carotene and lycopene. These incredible anti-inflammatory compounds have been shown to decrease the risk of obesity, diabetes, macular degeneration, and cardiovascular disease. Plus, watermelon contains a wealth of citrulline, an amino acid which is essential for arginine production inside the body. Arginine fights against your cells becoming insulin resistant. In fact, recent trials have shown that arginine supplements given over a period of weeks to months drastically increased insulin sensitivity in both rats and humans. So if you really want to get the best out of your delicious watermelon, be sure to eat their seeds. They're a great source of arginine and also supply vitamin E plus extra fiber content. And as the name suggests, watermelon is over 90% water. So it can be a nutritious and hydrating snack. Number four, Asahi berries. Unless you regularly walk along the Amazon River, you probably eat your Asahi berries freeze dried. And that's fine. Freeze-dried acai berries supply practically identical levels of biochemicals as the fresh version. Yes, these berries are packed with carbohydrates, but most of the carb content is in the form of glucose-lowering dietary fiber. Acai berries are actually a great source of all three macronutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, which all work in conjunction to slow the body's digestion and absorption of sugar. These bitter berries also contain nearly every essential amino acid, and 60% of their fat content is in the form of heart-healthy, diabetes-fighting, monounsaturated fats. Asahi berries also provide plenty of micronutrients, including elagic acid, which fights free radical damage, oleic acid, and linoleic acid, which reduce LDL cholesterol while improving levels of heart-aiding HDL cholesterol, vitamins B6 and K, which aid the body in metabolizing carbohydrates, plus two specific powerful anthocyanins, cyanidin-3-glucoside and cyanidin-3-rutinoside, which provide anti-inflammatory and anti-diabetic effects. Asahi berries also contain the flavonoids orientin and isovitexin. Orientin reduces blood vessel wall inflammation, a common side effect for diabetics. Isovitexin slows intestinal breakdown of carbohydrates, thus helping to reduce the risk of a blood sugar spike. So all in all, the Asahi berry is indeed a very good berry to add to your probiotic yogurt, salad, or even a savory soup. Here's the most classic red fruit, and it can be added to everything from salads to yogurts, even to main courses and desserts. Number three, apples. Of course, we couldn't leave the ubiquitous red apple off this list. Why would we? Apples truly are one of the most nutrient-dense red foods which grow on our blue planet. 
While they do supply carbohydrates, about a fifth of their carb content is pure fiber. And apples supply a specific type of fiber called pectin, a prebiotic which promotes the growth of beneficial gut bacteria. Apples are also high in water content, making this an excellent red choice for weight management and hunger control. They will help you to feel full very quickly, thus aiding you in tamping down on unhealthy food cravings and overeating. Research shows that eating whole apples reduces gastric emptying, or the speed at which the stomach empties its contents. So it's no wonder that a recent study found that people who ate apple slices before a meal consumed an average of 200 less calories compared with those who did not eat a pre-meal apple. Of course, apples are a well-known source of vitamin C. A medium apple gives you about 15% of your daily requirement for vitamin C. This antioxidant doesn't just help you avoid the common cold, it's been shown to lower post-meal glucose levels. It can also improve blood vessel reaction to nitric oxide in type 2 diabetics. Plus, studies show that vitamin C works to lower LDL cholesterol and triglycerides. Meanwhile, red apples supply the powerful antioxidant polyphenols quercetin and fluoridzin. Quercetin has been shown to reduce insulin resistance, and fluoridzin may reduce sugar uptake in the intestines, thus lowering the blood sugar load while reducing the risk of developing diabetes. In fact, multiple studies suggest that consuming even just one apple per week can decrease your risk of developing type 2 diabetes by 3%. But to truly gain the most health benefits from your apple, make sure not to forget the red. Peel, that is. Much of the fiber content of apples is actually found within the peel itself. Plus, apple peels contain ursolic acid, which aids the body in burning calories. Can an apple a day keep the doctor away? Maybe. But you can bank on this popular red fruit to also aid you in your fight against diabetes. Number 2. Pomegranate. Consuming pomegranate really means eating their red, fibrous seeds. A typical pomegranate, or more specifically, the seeds of a typical pomegranate, does supply over 50 grams of carbohydrates, but also over 11 grams of fiber. Plus, these red, luscious seeds contain a wealth of diabetes-fighting nutrients, including iron, magnesium, phosphorus, and potassium. They also give you over 30% of the recommended daily intake for glucose-lowering vitamin C. Meanwhile, Pomegranate seeds can help you acquire a unique but important compound called urolithin A. Urolithin A plays a direct role in improving insulin sensitivity. It also repairs damaged insulin-producing pancreas cells. And it works to reduce inflammation. But in order for our bodies to make urolithin A, we need elagitanins. More specifically, pomegranate elagitanins. Elagitanins are polyphenolic antioxidants which can aid the health of the immune system, reduce blood pressure, decrease oxidative stress, and they may even reduce the risk of certain cancers. Inside the body, gut bacteria transforms pomegranate elagitanins into urolithin A. This metabolite compound doesn't just help improve insulin sensitivity, it's also been shown to aid mitochondrial function and it may even work to reverse muscle aging. And importantly for older type 2 diabetics, pomegranate elagitanins may also protect the brain from diabetes-related neurological disorders like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Are you ready to discover today's top delicious and nutritious red fruit? It's directly ahead. But first, it's time for you to grab your three free gifts. Just click the link in the description below and you'll receive Superfoods for Diabetics, Episode 1 of That Diabetes Documentary, and the new cookbook, Snacks, Meals, and Desserts That Lower Blood Sugar. You definitely do not want to miss out on these diabetes fighting guides. So click that link below right now. Okay, let's wrap up this list in style. Our top red fruit for diabetics is number one, raspberries. It was truly difficult to decide which red fruit should take today's top prize because there are just too many amazing options which could legitimately be crowned the winner. But we're gonna have to go with good old red raspberries, one of the most delicious and nutritious foods on planet Earth. 
A 100 gram serving of raspberries contains just 12 grams of carbohydrates, and over half that amount is in the form of dietary fiber. That's a main reason why raspberries are one of the most highly recommended fruits for diabetics, as their fiber can work to slow your digestion. And while all red fruits contain powerful antioxidants, the diabetes-fighting, anti-inflammatory, and anti-cancer antioxidants in red berries are particularly potent. Plants produce antioxidants to protect their skin from light, air, and disease. The smaller the berry, the greater the surface area, and the higher the percentage of skin per fruit. So when we eat berries, we get a concentrated dose of antioxidants. In fact, raspberries are reported to contain possibly the highest levels of antioxidants of any fruit. Raspberries supply anthocyanins and resveratrol, antioxidants which both work to fight cancerous free radical damage. They have also been shown to improve insulin sensitivity by stimulating insulin secretion from the pancreas and by activating insulin receptor sites of cells. The antioxidant polyphenols within raspberries can also work to decrease glucose absorption in the intestines, thereby slowing the body's insulin response. And of course, red, red raspberries give you an entire catalog of anti-diabetes nutrients, including copper, iron, magnesium, potassium, plus B vitamins and vitamins E and K. A one cup serving of raspberries will also lend you over 50% of the recommended daily intake for that all important vitamin C, which aids arterial health and works to lower your post meal glucose levels. So raspberries can be the perfect red fruit for improving your heart health, reducing your weight and increasing your insulin sensitivity. And now you know, on your road to good health, Stop on red. In fact, there are so many incredible anti-diabetes red fruits that we couldn't fit them all into this list. So don't let us stop you from trying cranberries, organic strawberries, organic cherries, and even red tomatoes and red bell peppers. Yep, those are actually classified as fruits as well. But are there any other red fruits we missed? Let us know by commenting below. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to grab your three free gifts by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and have a happy Diabetes Fighting Day!